What's going on everyone? This is Dom and today we are talking about the Eve V. Nope, not the Eevee, not that. The Eve V. And this is kind of like a surface killer all around. It's actually packing some pretty hefty specs. Oh, and a big shout out to Motive for sponsoring this video, but more on that in a little bit. Now to understand the EV, we have to rewind a little bit because this computer was actually crowd developed. So they had a campaign and they asked people what they wanted in a computer and they made just that, which is crazy because you don't see anybody like Microsoft or Apple do anything like that. And I found that to be pretty cool because it, it, it's actually packing a lot for what it is, almost like a too good to be true scenario. So inside of the model that I received, we have an Intel dual core Core i7 processor. We have 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of PCIe SSD storage. Now around the front side, we have a 12.3 inch IGZO display, which is very good at power management. And that's rocking a resolution of 2880 by 1920. This thing is also a touchscreen as well, and it's very responsive. So let's talk about the hardware here for a second. Now, as a Surface killer, you're kind of going to have to match that baseline that Microsoft puts out with their Surface. And let me tell you, this thing definitely does. First off, it's all made of metal, as you would expect, but it's black and it looks super stealth mode. I'm actually a huge fan of the design here. Now, if I had one gripe about the design of the EV, as much as I love that matte black look, it gets fingerprinted up like nobody's business. So I definitely recommend throwing a D brand skin on it and they have some for the EV. So if you wanna check that out, I will leave a link below for you. So this thing will actually offer a lot more than the Surface well altogether. I mean, the IO right here is incredible as it stands. With the EV, you are getting two USB 3.0 ports, one USB type C 3.0 port, one Thunderbolt 3 port with a USB type C connection point, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and even a micro SD card reader. It's pretty insane. The EV even comes with a stylus so you won't have to purchase that additionally and we have a pretty nice keyboard here with that Alcantara fabric on it. It's, it's much like the Microsoft Surface in a lot of ways but this keyboard actually features seven color RGB so win for that. Now to top it all off, the EV even has cameras, though you probably don't wanna be caught in public using them, but there's a five megapixel camera on the back and a two megapixel camera on the front, both of which you can do with what you please. Setting this thing up on a desk is exactly as you'd expect. You know, the keyboard just pops on and you can actually open up the backside here and have a little kickstand, which is very, very adjustable, as you can see. And to top it all off, out of everything I've already mentioned about the EV, it even has a fingerprint sensor built into the power button, which works great with Windows Hello. So obviously with the Eve V, at least for me, it's not something that I'm gonna use on the daily because, well, it's not going to handle any of my 4K video editing and things like that. But just like a Surface, this thing is good for pretty much just about anything else. And you're not paying a premium that you would with Microsoft. Now, like I said, because this thing was crowd developed, one of the key factors for the EV is great battery life. Well, actually they put in a 48 watt hour battery inside this thing, which is absolutely massive. And that was actually because the community was okay with adding one millimeter of thickness for a larger battery. And I think that it's safe to say we can all say that about all of our computers and smartphones that are out today. So with this large 48 watt hour battery, well, you're probably gonna get around seven to seven and a half hours. At least that was my experience with just moderate average use on the EV itself. Real quick though, I wanna give a huge shout out to Motive for sponsoring this video. And if you're not familiar with this guy, this is a fitness tracker that fits inside of a ring. Motive does 24 seven fitness and sleep tracking, tracks your steps, calories, distance, and active minutes, sleep and heart rate tracking. It's waterproof up to 165 feet, and it even has a three day battery life with two day onboard memory, so you can leave your phone at home and it'll sync up later. So you're probably wondering with a fitness tracking ring, how the heck are they gonna know which size finger you have? Well, once you place your order with Motive, they'll send you out a sizing kit that includes various sizes of rings in it. You can try it on, pick your perfect size so you know you're getting the best fit possible. I'm a big fan of this ring. I mean, if you don't wanna wear a bulky wristband or have to carry your phone around with you for tracking, this is the best possible solution in my opinion. It's absolutely great. And if you wanna pick one up for yourself, you can actually get $20 off your first order by visiting mymotive.com. That's M-Y-M-O-T-I-V.com. And at checkout, enter promo code Dom Esposito. 
Now, as far as usability and everything like that, navigation, the touchscreen works great. And if you're familiar with laptops that have a touchscreen on Windows, you already know how that is gonna play out. But we do have a very, very nice keyboard and a very premium feeling trackpad. So the trackpad is actually glass and I was very surprised to see that here. And one gripe that I do have is that it's not that clickable when you near towards the top of the trackpad. It's more flexible at the bottom and it's kind of a nitpicky thing at mine because you have to make sure that you know where your finger's at before you click or else it's not going to actually click. So it's a little hit or miss in that department, but that's okay. Now the keyboard, however, is absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm really a big fan of the keys. They're nice and clicky. Everything just seems to roll up into one nice package as far as the EV is concerned. Of course, as far as software goes, nothing special is happening here. I mean, this is Windows and this is what you get if you put Windows on any other computer with a touchscreen and a pen. You know, you're just getting that. But the real special part here is the price point and the hardware. Now, like I said, the price point is what sets apart the EV from basically every other two-in-one out there, especially the Microsoft Surface. So if you wanted a Surface of this same specification, you would be paying over $2,400. But this model is actually only $1,699. So you can see that there's a big advantage to going with the EV over the Surface altogether. I definitely think that the EV has enough polish to call itself a winner in this space. It definitely competes with the Surface on pretty much every level. And I, I don't see any reason not to get it. If you were looking for a two-in-one like this, you might wanna check out the EV over the Microsoft Surface. So I really don't see any reason not to pick this guy up. I mean, it, it's definitely a win all around when you compare it to something like the Surface. And if you're looking for a two-in-one, this is probably the best bang for your buck that you're gonna get. So that about wraps it up for the Eve V. Like I said, this thing is phenomenal. I have a few little gripes with it, but nothing that is a deal breaker whatsoever. It is amazing. If you wanna find out more information about it for yourself, I will leave a link below for you in the description, as well as hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, things like that. I'll answer any questions that you have, but thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next one.